Namaste friends. In last video, we understood the relevance of triple bottom line in current times. But you may ask, what is in it for any profit making industry or company to consider all these sustainability elements? In this video, we will try to understand what are the benefits for any institution to become sustainable. Let's see them one by one. First, reduced commodity usage. That means directly saving of money. Second, reduced waste. Any activity is sustainable if it expends minimum energy. That is, there is least transaction of energy. Wastage is the resources present at wrong place in time. Third, reduced price risk. Optimum material using institutions or companies would get minimum hit of high price increase. For example, suppose there are two companies A and B. Company A is sustainable and B is not. The price fluctuation in same raw material will have more impact on company B than A. Lot of uncertainty impacts unsustainable businesses more negatively and with high intensity. Fourth, Enhance brand value Gone are the days of consideration of objects just for the selling transaction. We now look for long term association with customer. Let's take one example. Company ABC makes children's toys from a cheap manufacturer, maybe from China. In the season of high demand such as Diwali, Christmas or Ramzan, in the middle of heavy demand, many of their products found to have toxic chemicals. Many plastic toys contain endocrine disruptors, carcinogens or the leather paint. What will happen to brand value? Customers would reject the company outright. Damaged brand value would have long term repercussions on sales and therefore deep economic impact. Sustainable businesses will gain the brand value and edge over the competitors. Fifth, Performance beyond compliance As many industries now opt to take certifications, as it be as great importance in view of the marketing and overall operation of company. In view of the economic criteria, a company which want to take certifications, not improving in operations force, often spend more in preparations and for private consultants, etc. Company working genuinely for the sustainability would offer performance beyond compliance. This motivates and ensures stress-free and efficient operation of company. 6. Social license to operate In earlier times, the social license to work, that is the support of the native people for the factory, started to gain importance to mining related industries. But over time, it is now applicable to other businesses as well. Polluting and toxic industries, once public gets to know about them, face pressure to shut down. Therefore, this is becoming essential in the risk assessment and changing world scenario. 7. It fosters ethical work. It will push employees to work hard but not to cheat. Environment conscious approach would challenge employees to work hard instead of cheating to achieve the objective. For example, in much infamous scandal, Volkswagen car manufacturer cheated to pass the pollution test. Such behavior is discouraged if the organization works on sustainable ethos. 8. Retain talent in company and attract most talented employees. This is so simple as anyone can realize the truth in this point. Let me ask you one question. You have been offered a job opportunity from two companies. For which of the following companies would you like to associate yourself? Number 1. Environment conscious organization. Working on sustainable principles, caring for employees and with strong ethical ground. And 2. Highly profitable organization gives decent remuneration but is highly polluting. It is irresponsible for environmental degradation and does not care about social aspects. Think about these two. I guess most of you must have come up to a decision to work for company 1. This is 
the same for most of the people. Many surveys have shown that around 99% of people opt for company one. This can be a game changer for a company attracting talented workforce. 9. Attract new customers and markets Many customers are now willing to pay premium price on products that are good for environment. This makes a chance to open new green product line and tap the market that couldn't reach earlier. This will attract new customers and in course of time make a loyal bond with existing customers as well. 10. Innovation and new products There are many historical evidences which point innovation comes from outside the box thinking. But the real question for any organization is how to cultivate this thinking. Sustainability often opens up new ways to look at things and a harbinger to innovation and excellence. And above all, the final point is, it is the right thing to do. Choosing to view a larger picture, which includes people and environment, is the right thing to do. In any way, right thing always remains right thing to do. Management is doing things right and leadership is doing the right things. But here the question arises, what is the role of leadership? And the answer could be to ensure long-term benefits of the institution they serve. We request you to think about long-term, whether you work in industry, you are a student, belong to academia or self-employed. In this changing world scenario, what would be sustainable? Finally, to help to remember them all, let's look at them with the help of one mnemonic, GEAR, G-E-A-R. As GEAR helps us to make useful work out of any machine, that literally drives work. As for any mechanical machine, GEAR is bound to be there. Sustainability initiatives almost always will have this gear. It will help to get social license and performance beyond compliance. It will help to enhance brand value, foster ethical working and enhance innovation and creativity. It will help to attract and retain talented company, attract new market opportunities. It will help to reduce commodity usage, best and price risk. Please like, share and subscribe and hit bell icon to get notified of our next video. And thank you so much for your valuable time.